I greet you, my fellow Brazilians, and I wish you to be well. I thank you for you are together with us in the evening of prayers and even being before the Lord. We are in 14 days of deliverance and we are even talking about four types of deliverance. The first week we talked on the first type of deliverance. And even on the second day we did the same on the second type of deliverance. And today we are going to talk about the fourth type of deliverance. I know very well that you're going to be blessed. And we will get a time to pray in a good way and go deep. The, how the Lord was yesterday. That's how he is today. And that's how he will be forever. Let us start with a song as we prepare for Easter. May you manifest right now. 
Let everyone be blessed today. Buri wese tubanye muri uyu mwanya agirwe neza n'imbaraga zawe. Everyone we are together be good because of your power. Turabo imbaraga zose z'umwijima. We bond every power of darkness. Mwizina rya Yesu. In the my name of Jesus. Ibirwanya kumenya Imana. What is fighting knowing God? Ibirwanya ijambo ry'Imana. What is fighting the word of God? Mwizina rya Yesu. In the my name of Jesus. Tujambu imbaraga. We render them powerless. We call upon you, Jesus, so that you can manifest again. Hallelujah. Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let it be known that you are God. Hallelujah. Many people are going to be praised. Many people are going to be praised. Let your anointing do great things. We clap for you, Father. We welcome you in a special way. In the name of Jesus. Father, thank you. Because you are marvelous and wonder. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you because you are a great God. We thank you because you are a God that works. When you say things happen, and when you command, they are strengthened. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Receiving Christ is one thing and being delivered is another thing. We want to see the first type of deliverance. We talked about being delivered from demons. Uh, we also talked about being delivered from poison. We also talked about being delivered from chains. Today and today we are going to talk about how a person can be delivered from a sin. To be saved 
it can grow it can elevate in a person that's why apostle paul said yavuze ko yavuze ngo ngiye kuba ngiye kubaha ngiye kubaha noneho ibintu bikomeye he said that I'm going to give you great things because you are no longer young. So rero ubu tugiye kwakira nanone ijambo rigaragaza uburyo dufuraga kuzamukamo cyangwa se kubohoka kucyaha. And now we are going to receive a word that shows or explains how you can be delivered from a sin. Hallelujah. Kabo dufashe kubyuma neza bivuge neza. Let the people and the instruments help me on the instruments so that they can. The way a person can be delivered from a sin. We are going to read a word from Jeremiah chapter 15 and verse 19. Kandi ibishimwa no bivana mu bigawa uzaba nkakanwa kanje baza kugarukira muzabagarukira amen amen let us read from king james version chapter jeremiah chapter 15 verse 19 it says therefore says unto the lord if you return i will restore you if you and you shall stand before me. If you utter what is precious and not what is worthless, you shall be as my mouth. They shall turn to you. You shall not turn to them. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To be delivered from a sin. We are also going to use a word that is in Hebrews chapter 12. Chapter 12. Chapter 12, verse 1. The word says, If you we are covered with a multitude of witnesses like this, let us put off what is heavy burdening us. And even the sin that covers us so quickly. So that we can run the race towards where we are destined to go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now that we are covered or surrounded by the crowd of witnesses, let us put off what is burdening us. And even the sin that is scrambling on us. A sin that is so close to a person, you find it is not the same that is also close to another person. There is what we call in a Christian way being weak. Weakness. For one person, it is not for another. The weakness someone has it can be strength to another person. Where someone can be defeated, it can be a place where someone defeats. An example, there are people who can sin because someone stole. And you find stealing is a tempting thing on his life or her life. Did you know that people can steal even steal small things because they are things that are wearing them? You find he can't steal something that is so big to make him rich. They can even steal just a piece of paper. And he hides it. He can even steal a pen. And they send him a pen. He goes somewhere and they lend him a pen to write something and hides it and takes it away. And you find that person has a weakness in stealing. 
He has a sin of stealing and it has dominated his life. Ndetse kandi ibyo nje bigenda bikura ugasanga biremereye abantu mu rugendo. And you find that is what grows and burdens people on the way. Hari byaha bibira yita ngo ni byaha by'inyongo besa bugingo. There are sins that the Bible calls sins that are stick to the life or to the soul. Hari abantu babango nje nakirijwe ubusamba nje nakirijwe kusinda. There are people who say I was saved from fornication, from drunkenness. I am saved from killing people. But this person can conspire. And this person can sit amidst the congregation and speak bad words upon someone. This person sits in a multitude of people and speak worthless words. Or even lie for some person. And he feels that is okay. In those days, this person needs to meet or encounter with the Lord. Yes, he needs it. You and me, we need to encounter with the Lord so that He can heal us of all our sins and iniquities. We hang on it. We have to get a home. We have to get a home. Praise the Lord. This singer got a revelation. Maybe it was in the morning or in the evening. And he said how soulful it is. See what is making me soulful. See what is paining me a lot. What is paining and making me tremble. That there are people who will get this destroyed. There are people who will go for destruction. It is so painful mm. and it, it is so fearful. He said that those we sang with, those we prayed together, one goes to heaven, another one goes to hell. It is so painful. It is so painful and fearful. The Bible says that on that day, that two people will be digging in a garden. One will go to heaven and another one will stay. On that day, a woman and a man sleeping in the same bed, one will be taken and another one will stay. But, but this is what is worthy. All those small sins, those sins people call that they are small, those are the only sins that are going to make people destroyed. That is what will bring destruction to people. Satan works like a rat. A rat. And he goes on a person, knocks, and, and puts some air there. He knocks on every person. And you find he has eaten on many things. Satan 
They are people who have a wound that was caused by Satan. They are people that you fear the Lord in early ages, but you no longer fear them today. They are things you could not do by then, but today it's your own day-to-day life. Let us give glory to the Lord. Let us give glory to the Lord. Harima. There is a God that creates something. Harima. There is a God that work, does something. He needs to deliver his people. Jesus sent his disciples in a, a party. And he told them, you go and bring me a kid of a donkey. That was not certain by any man. And bring it to me. And bring it to me. This kid of a donkey. I want to take it with me to Jerusalem. Even today, God is sending us to bring his own people. That person he created. He, the one he was crucified for. So that he can use him for great things. We are in times where the Satan works a lot. But even Jesus works in another one. Jesus needs good workers. He needs singers that are filled. He needs pastors that are filled. He needs Christians that are filled. That are standing in a good direction. So that he can sit on them. Or walk in them. The Bible says everything that was created they are waiting patiently to know who are true children of God. People need to know who are the true children of God. They need want to know the children of God. Let us give glory to the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. They saw people who are corrupt and even the Christians are becoming corrupt. Those who are called Christians. But they need to know who is a true child of God. Who is a true child of God. Mm. Hallelujah. Have mercy on us, Lord. They want to know who is a true child of God. They they see the boys who are Christians are not Christians wearing the same uniform. They are so amazed. The whole world is in shock. You normally hear that they are people who are called Christians. But the world needs to know who are true children of God. Those who are prostitutes in a club, they go wearing like prostitutes. And those even who are going to church for service, they also wear like prostitutes. And they even cause those boys who are not strong in, Christ, in Christianity looking The world needs to differentiate who are true children of God. One person gave me a testimony and I was amazed. He was praying in a, in a wilderness and they stole a phone from him. Desert. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When he was in a desert praying, a person told him, Rend me your phone and I call somebody. And the person went on a phone talking and using body language as he was going away. 
And the other one will continue to sing and be filled in the spirit. And when he turned, the fellow brethren had already gone and disappeared. <laughs> People need to know who are true Christians. They need to know those who are filled with the true Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the Lord. They want to know those who are filled with the spirit of heaven. Hallelujah, hallelujah. They want to know those who are filled with the power of the Holy Spirit and have the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Because people shake themselves and make people fear. It is okay if it is the spirit that is making you shake. It, we are not judging you. But after shaking, what are the results that we are seeing? Are you a Christian? Are you saved? Have Abantu atagwa mu moshya Satani yaragaze Kugira nga tuyatsira Bawuse ni muze tuagarude Abantu atagwa mu moshya Satani, Satani, Yara Gaze, Atanira, Atanira, Basana, yes. Hey, hey, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Mose to Bagarure. Come and we make them turn back. Hallelujah, Mose to Bagarure. Come and we make them turn back. Haram Kosiman of them, Yetawa, Jaravango, Jawed in Buto. There is a man of God who said in his book and said, you bear fruits. And if it is worthy, even work for the Lord. He said that the first thing is bearing fruits. The power of the Lord represents the work of the Lord. The fruit shows or signifies the power of the Lord inside you. It says that the fruit and the power go all together simultaneously. If you are filled with the power of the Holy Spirit when you don't bear the fruits of the Holy Spirit, it's like buying a charger when you don't have a phone. You will be like a normal person who doesn't have a knife. The time has come. And it has come to pass. For Christ Jesus to manifest. There is a power that the Lord wants to release to his people. Let me tell you a secret as the prophet of the Lord. There is the dignity that the Lord is going to descend to his people. There is the power of the Lord that is going to come down to his people. So that our Lord can be manifested or shown in power. And in fruits. Let us give glory to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. Satani yara hagaze Atanyira basanga yesu Ni muze tuwa garure Havanu ata guamu bosha Satani yara hagaze Atanyira basanga yesu Ni muze tuwa garure Abanu ata kwa mumusha Satani ala hagaze 
Batangira basanga Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At man to him. Let us give glory to the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Satan yaragaze. The Satan stood up. And he broke to those who are seeking Christ Jesus. In other ages, Satan could prevent people from going to church. But now he says they are so powerful, let them, let them go to church, but they will never be saved. You sit in a church. Let them be called names. But they will still be the same. But we have a God in heaven. We have a God in heaven. Who can consume all the plans of the enemy. The one who can create great testimonies in his people. I have a message for you to be delivered on the spirit of a sin. Let us give glory to the Lord. People no longer have testimonies because they fear to testify. Have you ever been saved? And he says automatically. <laughs> Because he has nothing to say. Mm -hmm. They call on the phone and say, Praise the Lord, my fellow brethren. Because of the people he's with, he said, Yes, it is. <laughs> because he fears to testify. He fears to testify. Mm -hmm. Aba Kristo bubu bara nangache Kuba mwitore roba tuba imana rema twatangije imirimo yacu numwete ariko kuru mubeshi basubinyo isharubu sinzi gusebanya magambo nibyo bibabuza kwegera imana yacu rurema Nichi chivate ye gusubiri nyuma kandi Yesu yarajariwe kudukomeza ni mu mwegere ni we buye ryazwe nabubatse ariko kumana byaratoranishwe ubuhamya bwawe nubuhe What is your testimony they are people who fear to move with a Bible. Holding a Bible in your hands. It is also another power. It is also another anointing on the way. But there are people that hide it. They look for a place where they can hide it and go. And you ask, where are you going? I'm going there, there in front. And that person is going for prayer. And they ask him now, why are you no longer taking alcohol? And he can tell them I was saved. And he says that my doctor said I don't take it again. The kingdom of Jesus. To testify. In among people who backslided. Let us give glory to the Lord. In those times. This evening we are going to pray so that people can de be delivered from the spirit of sin. Because if we send away demons and we send away the witches and we send away the sorceries let us be humble before the Lord and welcome the Holy Spirit. If we chase away those, if you are not saved, the Bible says if a demon goes away from a person, 
Aragaruka mu gitondo. He comes back in the morning. Akaza kureba inzu ye. And comes to see if that house of his. Kugira ngo arebe nimba ari kindi kintu kiri. To see if there is something that is in there. Iya garutse rero agasanga harimo Yesu. If he comes and finds that Jesus has has been there. Agasanga ari mu buturo bw'ishu. And he finds that there is a dwelling place of heaven. And he finds that salvation has entered. Demons go away running. I normally see people. Many of the people that I see in deliverance happening in our church because it is a church of deliverance. We prayed for many people that we can't count and they've been delivered. No, no, And they are people that we pray together. You find this day he comes and we pray and he gets delivered. And the demons say bye and go. And you ask those demons where are you going? They tell you where they are heading. To. You pray and anoint his face. After four days, and he comes back with a conference of demons. And you see, people start asking themselves, is this person not get, getting delivered every day? But she comes and they pray for her so that that thing can leave her. And after getting out of church immediately, he goes straight to what she is used to do. She walks back back to her life that doesn't glorify God. She goes to the life of pagans. The way pagans walk is how she walks. The way they talk is how she talks. And now demons must pray. The Bible says when a demon comes back and he finds where he used to stay, it is empty, there is no Jesus. He goes back and corrects seven more demons that are so strong and bad more than the first ones. And the end of the other person becomes more worse than the first one. To be born again or saved is very crucial. We are talking about the sin that holds on to the person. The one Apostle Paul said. The one Apostle there is a sin that he said if we are crowded with a large people of witnesses let us take off or get rid of everything that is so tied to us and even the sin which holds on to us so tightly so that we can run with determination to where we are going I can see you are going in a very big place I can see the promises of the Lord are so big did you know in this system of a Christian that are called Uzia? That time where they say that the time Uzia died, it is the time Isaiah saw the Lord. Hallelujah. They are things of Uzia that don't let people to see God. The Bible says that a, a, a blessing that the Lord gives, there is no curse added. It just brings treasures. Let us give glory to the Lord. There are people who have cut crosses on a mountain in a life of those things. They've been cutting across that mountains for many years. And they even have promises that they are full in a book. 
Ni wandi kamuri agenda ibyo imani gusaba ibyo ibyo imani kuvuzeho. If you write in agenda what the Lord wants from you. Jawi bukawandi kena handi ibyo imani gusaba. Or is write in another page what the Lord wants from you. Awa nwa fiti agenda zuzu ya masesi na nukufa kufa kupa pro kwa ambere kujira kupa pro soza. People have promises that are written in a book from the first page to the last page. Promises that the Lord gave you, if you can sell them, you can be a rich person. That let us get to read of what is heavy burdening us. So that we can run with determination the rest that lies before us. There are people that people ask from the Lord. But when they are Uzia are not yet dead. And you find God can't encounter with them. You ask for the Lord anointing. And he says you don't have a plan of protecting that anointing. God stops so that he can work on you. But he visits you in, in a vision and tells you what to do. Let us give glory to the Lord. You find a person is asking for money from the Lord. And if, if he sees that if he gives you money, it is like bringing a crowd of fornication. And he finds if you have that spirit of fornication, when you get the money, you will do more things. You stay long on a mountain of being prepared by the Lord. You stay long on a mountain of being done good by the Lord. When God gives you, he starts on your color. Iga Hindu ka. Iga Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, amen. Amen. Hallelujah, amen. Amen. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, amen. Amen. Hallelujah, amen. Amen. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, amen. Amen. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, amen. We manage to be here. Hallelujah. Two, three, two, two, three, six, 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 Numpise kwa romu ni mana Ijiye kujira neza Mura ya masa Huyu mkorova Ndajira ngutere Haleluya Haleluya Numpise romu ni wimuwe Murgyo gumuka Imani mushira muru ni rwego Rugwa mavuta kome Numpise romu ni Imparagansi mana Zifanyo imigozi Umunani ya guanyaga Ugwe gorgu utsinzi Kuzi mawge Hari imparaga Zirimozi hinduru buzi mawge awe Zivushira muru nilguego Fatunganyu tere hallelujah Tanyuru sego wego hallelujah 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 Zaya ya baba satu Riketa pradiza Ia ngro pradike soya Ia naraba bosoyo Kia amanda rabo Kia topele Nili asiado Peya kawa ya anesti Hallelujah. 
Nataka nione Yesu Nataka nione Nataka nione Yesu Nataka nione we are speaking about the one I can feel the crowd is changing I can feel there is a person who is going to be delivered mm. I can feel it yeah, 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 yeah. hallelujah hallelujah oh. deliver us oh Lord deliver us from the spirit of sin Get us out from the diminution of sin. Free us from the spirit of sin, Lord. Take us out and make us well. Let that sin go away from us, Jesus. Ivi tangaza wakoze Turagushima mananzima ibitangaza wakoze waturi ndi ubuzima mwami shimwa data Dibana chubahiro glory to the Lord Umva 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 Hear this hear this Hallelujah Duniani Name ingi Amfarme wame Alie tutama Name ingi Amfarme wamongu Tutawona Tutayimba Tutayimba Ozana Tutayimba Ozana Zunguka, Zunguka, when you get it, child, to tie Hosanna, 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 Uzia, there is a brethren we talked so that we could pray and he told me man of God let us pray because I have a demon of being hated by many that demon took away all my favor from me let us pray so that this demon can go away from me. But when I looked at him clearly, I saw there is no demon there. It is his character. There, is a, there are people who have been angry all their lives. They are always angry. He even comes to the church when they are angry like that, the way how Prophet did it. There is a person who tells you, Don't joke with me, me, I'm, some, I'm serious. 
And when I looked at him, I told him, Do you even greet your fellow neighbors when you meet in the morning or evening? And he could not even greet them. He could come in a church angry. He could move on the way when he is angry. There are people who are like that. You find that Uzziah that is living in his life is his own character. That makes him being hated by many. The salvation we got it for free. But the blessings we will work for them. Hallelujah. The salvation is free. By the blessings, we have to work for it. The Bible says that the goodness of a person it is the one that makes him to be loved. The goodness that is in that person's life it is what that makes him to be loved by men. The Bible says that blessed are the meek but they, because they will be given the whole world. I told you one woman he had Uzia on her tongue. She could always fight with the husband who was a pagan. But the husband could come in quarreling and even the wife could reply and in a good way. And the husband could beat her up. And that's how the whole house was for the everyday life. When he came for the a man of God to pray for her. The, the, the pastor knew that what the Uzziah that is fighting the family is on the tongue of that woman. And now he gave him her an advice that if a man comes quarreling, for you just get water and swallow it and keep it in your mouth. Don't spit it or take it in. No. If he quarrels, just keep the word in your mouth. Don't swallow it or spit it out. Don't even spit it out. The husband came quarreling and the woman continued to keep the water in. And she could remember that they told her not to speak any words. Not to speak, to spit out water or swallow it. The, the husband could quarrel and the woman could just say, mm, mm, mm. And in the morning, the husband came to repent and said, Forgive me, I've hurt you for so long. I was like a, a lion in a house, but now I'm repenting. Meaning that Uzziah of that woman was on her tongue. There are people whose tongues can never let them enter into a, a seat of, of dignity. If you reach somewhere, don't speak many words. You find their tongue is broken their things that they don't know. That is an Uzziah that was on that person. Hallelujah. Let us give glory to the Lord. 
I was telling you about Uzia, you will continue from tomorrow. But the word told us, let us get rid of what is burdening us. So that they can run with determination to the way that is lies before them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let them take away or remove what is burdening them. So that they can run with determination. It is also another level of deliverance. To take off what is burdening you. There are people who are burdened by a sin. You find it is something that is in a family. You find it is only one thing that knocks that person down. He raises the head, but it knocks it down. And you just see that the, re- the need that is there is for the anointing of deliverance. Let us get time and pray. And pray in this word. That when you turn back to me, I will turn back to you. And when you remove a word is precious from worthless, you will be like his mouth. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray this evening. We pray right now. We put everyone we were together in the altar in your blood. We commit him in your great power. What is shaking him, let them be defeated. Let them be destroyed by the blood of the Lord. Every sin that is covering him, let it be removed. Repeat after me that Lord Jesus, I give you my life right now. Remove me from the book of death and write me in the book of the living. Today I repent. I come back to you. Every chain, let it it lose my life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let the blood of the Lord cover you. You've received victory. You've received hope. In the mighty name of Jesus. We will continue from there tomorrow. In the morning, in morning glory, and even in the evening, in the usual time. You will be blessed. Let me say bye-bye. If you want to be with us in expanding the kingdom of God and share the links, you can call afterwards and we pray together and pray a blessing upon your life. The blood of the Lord cover you. Bye-bye.